Hey all, Chris Hesse here from TGT Media, of course, at Fan Expo Canada 2013. We're joined today by James Turner, of course, from Rex Libris and many other awesome books. How are you doing today? Good, good. You know, Fan Expo, I was here a couple years back, saw you here, had a great time interviewing you. I'm glad to see you're back here. But why do you keep coming back to Fan Expo? They keep inviting me. <laughs> it's a nice break from the everyday. And I, I always have new material, so it's good to have a, a platform to distribute it. You know, everyone usually has that, that one person that kind of set them on their path to where they are. Who was that for you? Ooh, who was that for me? That, that's a good question. Um, I guess my, my grandmother, I mean, she was a, a painter. She was an artist herself. So I suppose ultimately it would probably be her. Has she, excuse me, did she see any of your work as you were? Oh, yeah, no, she was very supportive in terms of uh, getting, uh, uh, helping me get into art classes. And uh, she got me, when I was a kid, How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. And uh, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> That's a great grandmother. I love that. Yeah. No, I never could draw the Marvel Way, but it was great to have the book. Do you consider yourself successful? Successful. Um... Well, I, I guess it depends on how you're going to define success. I mean, you're always kind of striving forward. I don't think you... I mean, I, I'm not sure... When, when do you get to success? And, and if you get there, I mean, you still want to keep going, right? I mean, I, I've managed to be published, um, and I'm still being published, and I'm still going forward with it. I think that's, that's a level of success, and just being able to keep doing what you're doing. Um, but in terms of, you know, higher level monetary success than I, no, not really. How do you deal with your failures? Get up, dust yourself off and get back into the ring. Uh, you know, you just try and learn from them. Uh, I try and experiment with every book I do. I try and do something different. I try and push the envelope in some way, manner or form. And sometimes it works and it works well. And sometimes I just fall flat on my face. Um, but I, I consider it a learning experience and you can grow as an artist and if you don't really risk anything when you're trying to create something, you'll, you'll never get anywhere. You know, the younger generation are coming through, they're going to flip through your books, they're going to buy your books and they're going to really enjoy what you have to offer, but how can they become inspiring themselves? I don't know, I, I think uh, if, you, if you're reading a lot and you read a lot outside of your field um, that can help inform what you're doing and inspire you to do new things um, I think that's one way to go Any others? Um, well if you, if you take courses and things I think one of the most important things uh, are the people that you're taking the courses with I think they're more important than the teacher um, I think that's probably the real value of, of going to school is the other people and the inspiration you get from them you know what's a great website we can go to to find all of your amazing work oh my website uh, jtillustration.com and uh, I've got there links through to a variety of my uh, comics and uh, yeah I guess that's, that's pretty much it thanks a lot James appreciate you taking the time to do this and I hope you have a great rest of your convention thank you you too cheers